The Janssen vaccine is a recombinant viral vector vaccine developed by Johnson & Johnson. It is based on the ADVAC vaccine platform. In today's video, an overview on this vaccine and a couple of side effects which are a bit surprising and not really talked about in the mainstream media. For this video, I have referred to the fact sheet provided by Johnson & Johnson, whose link I got down in the description box below. This COVID vaccine by Johnson & Johnson uses the ADVAC platform, which was initially developed to produce the Ebola vaccine and also the under-experimentation vaccines to Zika, RSV and HIV viruses. It is a recombinant vaccine which uses a viral vector. In this vaccine, the vector is an adenovirus AD26. Adenovectors are known to cause common colds. Here, this adenovirus is modified to express the gene of the spike protein of SARS-CoV-2 and cheat your immune system to produce antibodies to SARS-CoV-2. This vaccine is unique that it requires only one dose. As of filming this video, we are soon going to enter the booster era of the vaccines and therefore this might change in the near future. The efficacy of this vaccine is 66% in preventing COVID and 85% in preventing serious disease. The efficacy remains to be similar to the Delta variant. Another important feature of this vaccine is that it has less stringent cold chain requirements as compared to other vaccines. So it is easier not only to store, but it is also easier to transport, which can be especially helpful in rural areas. A precautionary note on before taking this vaccine. Inform a healthcare provider if you have any of the following conditions. This note is taken verbatim from the fact sheet. So to clarify what allergies are in this case, it would mean that if you are one of those people who has had allergic reactions to a previous vaccine, do give a heads up to a healthcare provider. Do not take this vaccine if you are allergic to any of the ingredients in the vaccine. Booping up a screen with the ingredients of the vaccine for you to screenshot. Coming to the side effects, most of them are quite the common ones. However, there are a couple mentioned in their fact sheet which I haven't come across when I overviewed the other vaccines and are quite serious. Let's start with the first serious side effect mentioned in the fact sheet. Thrombosis with thrombocytopenia. In simple terms, this means spontaneous clot formation with lowering of your platelet count. Platelets are responsible for formation of clots in order to stop blood flow. You might have noticed this type of clot when you get a cut on your skin. Thrombosis is an abnormal situation when this clotting occurs in your blood vessels itself. Guillain-Barre syndrome is an autoimmune response wherein the immune cells of your body attack the nerves. This causes tingling, weakness in your extremities which can progress to paralysis of your whole body in extreme conditions. The exact cause of this condition is not known, but it has been observed to occur after some viral infections. Capillary leak syndrome is a rare condition wherein the plasma, that is the straw colored liquid component of your blood, leaks out from the tiny blood vessels. This could lead to a sudden drop in your blood pressure and is a medical emergency. Anaphylactic shock is an over exaggerated immune response by your body. It often starts with mild symptoms such as itching of the skin, hives and an itchy throat and can quickly progress to a medical emergency where you might have trouble breathing. Interestingly, in this fact sheet, they have also mentioned syncope, that is fainting. This is a vasovagal response a lot of people have when they see needles or blood. If you would like me to tell you how to avoid syncope when getting an injection or during a blood collection, let me know down there in the comment section and also subscribe. Booping up some videos here you might like to watch. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Until then, signing out, Dr. Rohan Fonseca.